You said how much? AMC is blasting through any resistance and heading straight for the moon. Before we get into this video, please help out my channel by smashing that like button and hit the subscribe so that you can get the most updated content. Guys, I just found some great catalysts for AMC. I found a video clip here by Trader TV Live. Take a look. So a nice bounce back day for AMC shares today. A couple of noteworthy news catalysts to discuss today, guys. We're going to start things off with uh, them confirming they're going to take over not one but two additional theaters in the L.A. area. So more expansions coming for AMC. They're talking about having these theaters open by the end of the summer. And we want to uh, discuss this article uh, very briefly as well, because in this article, guys, this talks about uh, the shares expected to rise, and I'll just highlight it there, 146.93%. Uh, during the next three months, and we're going to talk about why this is generated by an algo, so amazingly, obviously, that uh, we need to avoid these types of uh, articles at all costs when it comes to making decisions as to where to put your money. The very next sentence in that article talks about how there's zero, no technical reasons why the shares should go either up or down. Neil. Yeah, and like this is the key thing. Like when you see when you see obvious inconsistencies in an article, like B. Riley does not either see upside or downside right now, giving AMC buy neutral sees neither upside or downside. You're going to talk about a 90% probability that it's going to 85 to, to, to 222 uh, in the next three month period when it's trading below forty dollars. But that's no upside. So, like, when you see over-the-top inconsistencies in something like this, you know, you can basically want to throw this away and don't get tricked by it. There was, you know, legitimate news today. It's not that it was uh, uh, completely unexpected. This actual piece of news here is signing the deal, uh, of course, uh, to, to, uh, to reopen those growth theaters. But... You know, uh, ultimately, this is an actual catalyst. I know AMC is up today, uh, possibly because it's getting a nice little break technically. But, you know, in addition to maybe even this headline, look, they, they, they collected like $1.6 bill in cash. They've been able to raise. Uh, you can see them now putting some of that cash to work. But it's important to be able to short. Look, I don't, it doesn't matter what side of this you're on. Are you buying and holding AMC forever? Are you day trading AMC? Are you looking to, are you looking to invest in it, swing trade it, whatever it might be? You, just, you don't want to be fooled by this, so look for those glaring inconsistencies in the article, and please, please, you know, just don't go by headlines or something like that. Uh, make sure you dig in a little bit deeper there. There was legitimate news here today, and actually a good move in AMC, but that article had nothing to do with it. Yeah, I want to talk a little bit about the move itself because, I mean, I think that Neil and Brendan just highlighted uh, there. You know, look, you're never going to make investment decisions, hopefully, by an article written by a bot. Uh, but I think there's some technical room here. Um, AMC is right out. I mean, this is a level that I always talk about all the time. It's right out of 50-period moving average, roughly 39.50 or so. Not only that, we're getting ready to break this 38.80 level. So, I mean, AMC did... You know, call it what it is here. I mean, we held that bottom. I mean, it's one, two, three, four, like five days in a row, basically unable to break, not basically, unable to break $31 here uh, in the open market. So we'll see. Now it's back up to 38 Like, what a great buy any of these dips have been. I mean, a lot of traders nervous about AMC, worried about the fundamentals, but, you know, not me. Today we went long there, 36 You could see now it's up to the top side. So it was a good trade today for AMC. And I just think that, look, We'll talk all the time about the short squeezes and this and that. Sure, that's going to play in the background. But, Brendan, the key part about that article, obviously, uh, was the fact that, look, they're buying, they're taking over, they're, you know, they're, there's some new theaters there. They talked about it being in L.A., high traffic areas. So, hey, I mean, they're improving. They're taking some of this cash. They're trying to buy, buy a few different theaters, buy some more assets, you know, add to the balance sheet, add to the bottom line. Let's see where this goes for AMC. I mean, as the U.S. and Canada and the world opens back up, AMC does have, in my opinion, a runway, at least some logic, to going back to the upside here. So let's just see if the momentum carries through and maybe we can crack this $40 level. Yeah, fantastic trade. We talked about some key support levels coming into play over the past couple of days and seemingly have held for the time being anyways. Is there more to come? Uh, time will only tell, guys. But yeah, positive news. Uh, I mean, obviously things can't be that bad if you're continuing to expand and open up uh, more and more theaters for AMC, guys. This is going to be super exciting to see. Get your popcorn ready. And if you need a broker, start with Weeble. They give you some free stocks just for signing up and depositing some money. Guys, check out the link down below. 
That's gonna do it for this video. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave a comment down below. Smash that like button and also subscribe to my channel.